start of the game, definitely. You know, uh, again, we've that's all we've talked about all year, really. That's all, and we just continue to talk about it. And it's pretty much the same guys that continue to do it. And you know, early in the game, we again we we're, were an inside out team, and we put the ball in there and give them credit for knocking the ball loose some, which they shouldn't do. We're doing what we need to do, but uh, we fought back and. Uh, in this first half and they stretched it back out but we told our guys at halftime we're, we're going to be fine if we'll come out and defend uh, a little bit better than, and just take care of the ball and I think what the second half proved we had two turnovers scored 42 points we haven't done that, that in a long time because you can't have 20 turnovers and expect to do something like that but I didn't think defensively we were great tonight at all and uh, give them credit they hit some big shots some deep shots but it was the fouls where we were not doing our job on the defensive end, getting on the side of them. They were getting into it, and they do a good job of driving the ball and getting into your body and getting fouled. And uh, we just weren't good enough tonight defensively to win a game on the road. What did they do that made Santiago's life so hard offensively? Well, we told him that. We said they're going to push you right. We're going to push you right. We're going to make it hard for you to get the ball. You know, and we told him don't fight it, just go. And we kept telling him to get, he's good off the ball, but he needs to get off the ball more. The second half, we used him as a screener, and we got he got us back in the game because they were so locked in on him. Where we got the ball inside on those situations and but again he he continues to drive and lose the ball and and uh, again he, he you can't you can't let your point guard can't average five six turnovers a game he can't and it's him trying to do too much but he's played enough now that he's got to he's got to trust his teammates and let those guys handle the ball some Rick what one shot at your house scored nine points 37 tonight and then Isaiah Joe back in the lineup, you guys are facing. Talk about those two plays and their impact in this game. Oh, they had a, they were the difference when you think about it. You know, um, Mason Jones was terrific. You know, you got to give him, we had no answer for him. You know, he did it inside. He got to the free, uh, free throw line, which I respect that as much as anything. And uh, he, he was feeling it, obviously, and he got going with it. And, um, you know, again, that's as good a performance as we've seen all year against us. And, and Rick, you know, Well, he creates another gap for him because you can't get into the gap like you'd really want to. Uh, when you're playing against a team that really likes to drive the ball, you got to give that help. And he's a guy that you can't get off of him that far. And uh, they move the ball well. You know, they you know they're, they're going to get you into those, those isolations, and you got to go. You got to be able to guard the ball. But uh, he's a guy that again he stretches the floor for him. And uh, him coming back and doing that, I mean. Good for them, and because uh, they're definitely a different team with that group, and, they're, and they, they played they played well tonight. I'm surprised it was number 24 Henderson and, and their start early. Well, we thought you well, why they start him? No, no, no. Just how was it kind of a surprise to you all since you hadn't played much? And, and well, again, I think they you know Eric's a terrific coach man, and he knows we're going to go inside, and uh, <coughs> I think that uh, they had a couple blocks, but. That was folky, not work. I mean, you get one block, that's fine, but he's got more to his game than just to turn and think he's going to casually put the ball up like that. That's what you're talking about his defense. And he, I thought they were, again, we got the ball, we won the ball inside. <coughs> we got it there and missed some critical free throws during that stretch, too. You know, we you, you can't miss those free throws when you're fighting to score every possession. Yeah, Rick, I think <coughs> cutting from 16 down to 10, 45, 43, and then they. They, I think Jones had a three-point play, and Sills and Joe hit threes, and they got got some cushion again. Well, what? What kind of happened during that? Well, you know, we got called for a flop foul. We got uh, we got a guy that not got knocked backwards, and it's that you're at a disadvantage when there's no call on a guy's land on the floor, and there's five against four. That's that's a tough situation. And then uh, we get called for a charge. We I think we you know during that stretch when you fight back as hard as that. Those are those are tough situations, you know. And uh, uh, again, you got to. I mean, they made shots, man. They made some big time shots and got to the free throw line. And but uh, I just don't think we we defended well enough to, to win a game on the road like we did. And the only positive again, the second half, we only had two turnovers. And hopefully our guys will realize that that gives us a chance, a fighting chance. And then, but when we had to make some baskets, we we couldn't get them. Where's Josiah offensively right now? Seems like he's struggled to get back in his rhythm since he came back. Yeah, I would say he is. I think that's a good way to put it. I think he is struggling. Yeah, can I have that, please? Uh, struggling a little bit. I mean, he has, and but uh, he he's going to keep fighting and see what he can do. What do you mean? I mean, how does he get back to that that comfort he had before he got 
playing in practice. I, I don't think there's any question about that, that he's got a – we need him to. You know, we uh, – right now, this time of year, I, I'm not sure it's going to get done in practice as much as I think it's a mindset right now where he's got to learn mentally about the game as much as anything and realize because we need him – I don't even – did he score tonight? I don't think he scored tonight, did he? And, I mean, here's a guy that – you got to have some starters. Your starters got to give you some points, all of them, and uh, so we need him to do that too, as well, Take as much as anything. Drew Pember, what's his he situation? had a, a concussion. Are you expecting him back soon or out for a while? He's under that concussion protocol, so it's up to our medical staff. All right, thank you, guys.